your reminder to hydrate today. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, hello, welcome to the channel. So a couple days ago, we did a reaction where we watched a video on the Autobahn and me, like a lot of people who aren't actually from Germany, so many misconceptions, wrong ideas, and things that were clarified within that video. The biggest one though is that like, there's no speed limit and it's just a free for all. Like there's no rules. Yes, there are rules. Yes, there are speed limits. And apparently, y'all were telling me it's harder to get a driver's license in Germany than it is in America. And on top of that, the people are just more courteous on the roads. And like, if you intentionally or unintentionally cause an accident, you can go to jail for that. So I'm like, wait a minute. When I hear Autobahn, I think motor speedway, Bugatti flying 120,000 miles per hour next to like a Porsche and Lamborghini and all that, but that's not the case. So today what we're doing is actually checking out what it's like to actually be driving on the Autobahn and seeing like a real perspective of actually being on the road. Like we learned about what the Autobahn is, why it was made for military purposes, but now let's see how it is used today in practical life. So if you're ready for that, subscribe, like the video, follow me on Instagram, help me get to 10K, and here we go into what the German Autobahn is actually really like. Because I, I definitely want to drive on it if it's actually not like this place where people just speed, speed, speed. But let's see. We got to do a top places to travel in Germany video too. Love the Good hatchback. Morning, we are continuing the next day of our awesome German road trip. Woo! Yeah! We are in, we're leaving Dresden right now. We're going Dresden. to head over to a town called Gosler. Gosler, right? yeah. That's another thing. Whenever people talk about Germany, all you really hear is Berlin, Munich, but it's a whole country. Like there's countryside, I'm sure. There's like beautiful architecture. There's so much more places, which is why I want to do like the travel video, top places to visit. It's some little tiny town. We just, Dresden. I did an Airbnb search and there was a home available there that was affordable, and yeah. then the town ended up looking adorable. So it's all working out. Yeah, part of adorable our goal town. with this trip is to just explore more of the countryside. Exactly. So we're what trying I to said. stay away from the big towns. We're actually staying not the like, too way outside stuff. of Dresden in this yeah. place anyway, so we're not really in the city center. No, but we are about to go mm. to the city center. I found a place for breakfast. I think it, it's called the California. California, California kitchen or something like breakfast, that? California in Germany? Breakfast Club. Yeah. And you guys know we're from California and these people are from, I think, pretty close to where we're from in San Francisco. Oh, but they started these restaurant. restaurants here. So cool. the food looks pretty amazing. So we're going to see if it's anything like home. But even then, if I'm going to be in a foreign country, I'm going all out. I am, you know, eating the food that's local. I am listening to the music that's local. I'm diving into, like, why would I go to Germany just to go to McDonald's, you know? But then again, I guess the McDonald's there may have different stuff than American McDonald's, so. Let me just shut up. Maybe they're valid in checking out German food, American food in Germany. Maybe it's different. Let's see. You all know I'm an architecture girl. We're in this oh. really cool part of town that has a bunch of interesting street art and a bunch of little shops, and it seems really hip. It's called, uh, Ernie? Sesame Street? Y'all watch Sesame Street in Germany? That's another video we could do. Y'all's childhood shows. What about Elmo? Y'all know Elmo? Called the uh, Ausir Neustadt, I think. Ausir Neustadt? It's pretty cool. If we had more time, we would definitely spend some more time around here, but the restaurant should be right over here. Our graffiti is just like gang stuff. Y'all's is art. Straight kitty. Ooh. So you know how in Thailand they just have stray monkeys has everywhere? Arrived. It looks amazing. Germany has stray cats. Thing. I got the eggs Florentine, so we've got some poached eggs on there and then some mm, hollandaise sauce good. all over the top. A couple big old I thought it was chicken. salmon, which is gonna be delicious. And Toast. all on top of some uh, looks like some toasted white bread. Oh yeah. Pretty okay. excited about it. I, on the other hand, got huevos rancheros. It was all in German, so I don't know exactly what I'm getting. But the photos online That's the fun of it, like though. a bunch of like vegetables, maybe hash browns. Chives. There. Yeah, there's a bunch of peppers down in there, and then two Ooh. deliciously cooked eggs on top, some avocado. This is so uh, this. fluffy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Freshly fried, I believe. So nice, it's fresh. Huh. I wonder if the fish is like locally 
you know, caught by y'all. Because it is a so continent. So California Breakfast Club is actually a pop-up restaurant every uh, Saturday and Sunday from like 9 to 2. I think it's actually in a burger joint. Okay, but we're supposed to be here for the Autobahn. Let me see. Okay. Not stick shift! Americans. It makes sense. We don't know how to do stick shift, but still. Good to know I can rent an automatic. So we are currently on a 100 mile stretch of the Autobahn. Yes. Growing up in the US, the Autobahn was always this like mythical, magical <laughs> Literally. road. I always thought it was a single road. Yeah, and I, I did always too. imagined it was something like Mad Max, where like no rules apply. Exactly. I don't know where we got that idea from. It's kind of like how Europe has these um, ideas about us in high school, these big yellow buses, but those are actually real. But for us, the Autobahn is like this six lane speedway where they're like, on your mark, get set, go! And everyone just. People were freaking flying, drag racing, I don't yeah. know, doing whatever they want, and nobody cared. We didn't yeah. grow up really in the age of the internet, all right? We grew up in the 90s, so it's not like we could just research this. So it was just like. Which is why I love this heard. channel, I can research. Yeah. So in our minds, the Autobahn was just like one stretch of road, you can go as fast as you wanted to. Mm -hmm. But in reality, the Autobahn is just a highway. The German motorway. So it's this expansive network that goes all over the country that spans, I think, like 13,000 kilometers wow, or so. Dang. So it's this huge network that's apparently really well maintained. And over the last few days, we've been driving on the Autobahn, so we've gotten a taste of what it's actually like. We've also just done a little bit of research trying to figure out, well, first off, we like to do research on the different rules of the road in any country mm -hmm. that we drive in. So. Very I was going to say, back to that map they showed, like the connections to the whole country, it looks like. Honestly, I was thinking it was like one major speedway, which just made me think if it's ever on construction, that must suck and cause a lot of traffic. But there's so many different interstates, we would call them like connections to other states within the country. And like even here, different little communities. And what are these borders for, though, inside the country, like different cities? It literally connects everywhere, though, even it looks like to a different country, whatever is north of Germany. It's, it's like awesome. Things a good that you system. wouldn't see in your country, probably. So from what we understand, the way it works is that there are certain classes of vehicles that have no federally mandated speed limit. I think it's what? just, you know, regular small cars like ours. And then as the vehicles get bigger, they have specific speeds uh, that they're supposed to drive. Okay. There are posted speed limits. I thought he was talking about like the price tag. If, like if you have a Bugatti, you can drive as fast as you want. But if you're in like a Toyota... Or a, what do y'all, that lion car, with or the diamond. Renault, I think it's called. If you're in a Renault car, then you have to go whatever, like 60 or 70. Limits on a lot Obviously, of I'm the speaking Autobahn miles per hour. That you have to abide by. And uh, a lot of a lot of the speed limits are in obviously construction zones, so those will change in you know built up. How's traffic with the construction? You're going through a town, you're going to see a speed limit sign, so you and everyone will just immediately slow down when they nice. when they get to that sign. From what we understand, there is still I think I read it was like still 50 percent of the autobahn is just um, unregulated speed speed no speed limits. What we oh, also so it learned is, is that there is what's called an advisory speed limit, mm -hmm. and it's. One, 130 kilometers per hour so that's what you isn't that like 90 miles per hour though that's still really fast i think it's what the government recommends you shouldn't go over it's like a it'd be really nice if you guys could do that but yeah. there are no rules so you can do whatever you want yeah but that's a little over 80 miles per hour so for us in the u.s that's very fast because oh, a yeah. lot of our roads are like 60 miles per hour i think the only stretch you come across 70. is in maybe in Utah and yeah, in Texas, Texas. And a few states. We also are getting the impression from what we've read online that the advised or the posted speed limits are taken very seriously. Yeah, and they you can, can get, get uh, stopped or pulled over for just going a little bit over them. So when we see a speed That kind of sucks because speed limit here for my highway is like 70. Everyone goes 80, 85, 90 miles per hour. So if you even go a little over, you can get pulled over. And then on top of that, they were saying, like, you can lose your license. Like, if you get a certain amount of points. That's how it works here anyway. Do y'all have a point system? But dang. Even if you go a little over, you can get a ticket. Over them. So when we see a speed, speed limit sign, we are immediately slowing down to that exact speed because we don't want to take any chances. How much y'all's tickets, we've too? We've sadly gotten tickets in other countries. Oh. I don't think either of us were driving, but we've been with people. And yeah. they are sometimes very expensive. So you yeah. don't want to deal with that. Plus, through a rental company, it's just yeah. all confusing trying to get the ticket sent to the right place yeah. and pay so you, it. Ugh. You're better off just obeying the rules of the road just and drive driving slow. as safe as possible. Yes. 
Oh, safe. We've been slow. pretty much staying. Is there like a too slow speed that you could do on the Autobahn? Can you get a ticket for that? Like I would literally be the one in the farthest, like furthest lane from the fast lane and just like doing my little grandma speed. Below 130 in the right lane. But what we're gonna try to do is when one of these fast people whips past us, we're gonna get behind them and try to try to match their speed so we can get a sense of how fast they're actually going. Dangerous, but let's do it for the video. Enough to go that fast. Yeah. <laughs> let's do this. Oh, geez. <laughs> they're in the fast. little diamond car, the Renault, I think you'll call it. Come a foot all the way down. One Come on, little, what is this? Is that kilo kilometers per hour? Hey Siri. What's 173 kilometers per hour to miles per hour? 173 kilometers per hour is 107.5 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. That's a deadly speed for sure. This car. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're at 175 and this guy is gone. <laughs> yeah, and they're going even farther. So I'm at, that's just a little Mercedes. So imagine a Lamborghini or Bugatti. And then the exhaust too scary. All right, all right. I that's like that's fast enough. Yeah, okay. slow down. Okay. Break into pieces. <laughs> Jesus, <dude. laughs> like the car is just shaking. About it. <laughs> you guys, how fast do you normally go on the Autobahn when there aren't any restrictions? Yeah. You just let it loose and you usually stick it around 130, 140. <sighs> that's wild. Honestly, I feel like your speed should sure drive fast, but also remember any moment you could pop a tire, lose a tire, someone could be an idiot and want to cut you off. Like any moment something can happen. So don't be at a speed where you can't control your car or where you are going to risk your life just for like three seconds of fun. Or like no, you don't ever have to get anywhere fast enough unless like your mom's about to die or something. But usually if you're just going to the grocery store and you're taking the Autobahn, there's no reason you need to be going 173 miles per kilometers per hour. The Autobahn is fun, but again, I will stick to my slow lane and driving like a grandma. And I hope that y'all can't give tickets for driving slow and at the, or below the speed limit, but let me know. Subscribe when you're here, like the video. I hope you enjoyed it.